today I'm uh, with Roberto. Roberto, I haven't talked to you since uh, November 7th. Uh, I interviewed you and uh, Flora at that time. Do you remember? Yeah. How have you been since then? Uh, had a rough time. Uh, I did uh, in December. Actually, on my birthday, I uh, got arrested. Uh, so uh, me, me and my girlfriend, we were having an argument, and we crossed the road, and they uh, got us for uh, domestic violence for uh, weaving in tra out of traffic. So arguing, and then uh, got out on the 28th. Um, got charges to miss, and uh, well, they gave me a, a year on supervised probation on that one. And then um, they dropped all the other charges for the, I don't know if you remember, um, they got me for uh, possession of shopping cart. They just missed that charges. So um, just had that one there. Got signed for the year on surprise probation. Got out, found Flora, and uh, stood there with her for two days. And I guess uh, I kept getting wet and I got pneumonia. I woke up on the... Saddened, uh, out of a coma, and I uh, got released on the 14th, and just been uh, trying to recover since. You, you nearly passed away. Yeah. No, oh, uh, my uh, body temperature was, I believe, uh, 69, 70 degrees, something like that. Hypothermia. You're yeah, experiencing hypothermia, hypothermia yeah. right? Your body yeah, temperature. You see, my, my fingers are peeled almost off. Uh, my feet also, both. both I don't know if it's crazy, it peeled almost all of my skin is peeling off. It's crazy. Wow. From the hypothermia. Um, yeah, she, a, she said uh, that you were I wet. Yeah, I, I, I broke, broke, broke the, 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 popped this, uh, uh, Collarbone? Clavicle ball. It's a clavicle. Clavicle? Yeah, it's, ah, this one was located on this side. Now this one is located. Now that's why my head's like slimmed down a little bit. And if, if, you, if I don't have to, if I don't try to have proper posture, it, it slopes down like that. So you don't have to, have to you mean? I'm gonna have to do uh, something with a neck brace and you have these fuse in the back because of that. You have these re broke and I offered all from the hump of me. It's crazy. You've, you've gone through a lot physically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, how about your relationship with Flora? How's that going? Um, it's it's going. Um, I think we've hit a turning point though. We've um, went full circle and uh, we're uh, getting back into it. We're uh, starting over <laughs> pretty much. Um, just getting back to the basics, um, kind of kind of dating, which we never did. We jumped in feast first and, and just ran with it. And uh, we are together 24-7, seven, seven days a week, and nonstop. And it's just, it's, no one else was there, it's just, just me and her. And uh, now recently we've uh, I've started to uh, distance ourselves, um, having our own separate lives. I mean, it's a, it's a difference, I mean. Uh, it's, it's the longest relationship I've ever had. Um, before that was my baby's mom, and that was only three months before I went to prison. So, and then this has been a year. Well, you'll be on, it'll be a year on uh, Valentine's Day. So, she uh, she mentioned that she was a little disappointed and uh, and something you had done a while back uh, and causing her to lose trust in you. And so now you're trying to regain regain that trust or what? Um, no, I, I didn't never lost the trust. Uh, it was um. She uh, moved out here when she moved, first moved out here. Um, then she uh, had a messed up phone, so she was only answering texts for about four or five days. And then uh, for the next three days, she didn't answer the phone at all. So, I don't know what you she go for a move to another state, and then don't start only answering texts when she wants to answer them, and then start, start, stop answering phone altogether. What would you think? I, I thought we were going to kill anyone. I never see her again in my life. So, I'm. The way all men do it is try and forget it. Try, try and uh, forget about it. You know, just try, try, try and move on. And you come back the, the, the next day and get a phone call. <laughs> get on your phone. Sorry. Which is understandable, but in other words, I should try to borrow somebody else's phone. She said 10 texts from somebody else. Let me know anything. But this communication, it's just communication. That, that, that tells you that like, I don't care. It's, uh, how, how would you feel about that? Yeah. Uh, Roberto, so you've gone through some 
some issues physically, your health, being in the hospital. Oh, the, being, the, the, anyway, we've had about uh, four different, different places out here that on the streets, but actually houses. You remember? Built it. We've had actual houses, about three, three different houses here on the streets. Um, so. And uh, you've also had a little bit of heartache uh, yeah. with the uh, with flora. What's next for you? What um, What are you trying to do this year? This year, I'm uh, I'm gonna try to eventually get into a, a rehab. Uh, not, not 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 into a rehab to, to actually for um, drugs. She, she doesn't have a problem with drugs. Drug, drugs. Uh, she has a problem with um, um, just uh, depression. Depression is is, is is the big thing. I mean, so it's a uh, it's it's, it's we're, we're about struggle. struggle. I mean, uh, like me, I, I've, I've never been on the street before this. I've, um, you know, back in Mexico, I, 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 I drive an Escalade. <laughs> I, um, I have four or five cars. I'm not, I don't live on the street. I don't live day to day. I'm, I'm established. Uh, if I need to know as a friend or something like that, I'm just taken care of. And I, I don't do all this. But out here, I don't have nobody. This is like she's used to. She lived her whole life like this, so it's, it's a struggle. But I said, I'm, I'm learning to adapt and, and try and understand and um, try and pull out, try and try and show different ways. But there's only so much you can do, and, and try and try and try and try. And, I mean, and, and, and in the meantime, I'm missing my daughter's life. I'm sad you have a seven year old daughter. Um, missed her birthday. Over here, some issue that we're trying. I was about to get a bus ticket out there to go do, but they went. Uh, I wasn't able to get her bus ticket, so uh, and it was uh, through a place they called Cast, and uh, yeah, it was to where it could have been. It could have been taken care of, but uh, where the, the people were um, not being uh, considerate and um, forthcoming with their the whole the whole transparency with everything. I mean, they brought us in different rooms and like. If we're going to try to go together, we're trying to go together with relationship. We just got to talk about it. We got we got to discuss stuff. And it's, oh well, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go right now, and you got, you got 30 minutes to get there, so jump in the car and let's go. Oh, but she can't go with you. By the way, your girlfriend can't go with us. So you bust it. She to bust, bust um, to to send you safe. Like so, it was, it was it was a fight from the beginning. So then I miss my dog's birthday. Um, then my birthday comes up next month, and I go to jail <laughs> for almost a month. Get out for about three days, four days, and then go back to go to uh, Halakshu for uh, another 14 days with the hypothermia, medically in the coma. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm uh, still trying to get my health back. Um, it's hard. And then being on the street, it's, uh, it's even harder. Um, it's crazy. I mean, I have a lot of programs out here for uh, housing and stuff like that, but uh, it's a uh, nice sober living uh, places, but uh, for uh, it's not really helping people it's um just people taking advantage of the system for check they, uh, they get about 12 or 12 13 dollars a person a month they're giving each person maybe uh, 150 to 160 something so I, I don't have that i don't have all the details but they give a certain amount of money a week for you to go stay there but you have room over here you gotta, you're out of the rain Elements you can take a shower every day. Out here, you don't have that option, so it, it helps you, but you're taking advantage as well. So they're, they're making money. You uh, mentioned that this year you want to help Flora get into some type of housing because she suffers from depression, she doesn't have an issue with substances. Uh, how about yourself, Roberto? Uh, have you thought about help for yourself? You know that there's lots of resources out there, as you mentioned. Yeah. But uh, what about like treatment center detox for you so that uh, there's no more hypothermia in the future so they don't have to put you, oh, see, induce I, I, you I, I, in coma? I don't coma. know how, how I got this hypothermia. Uh, it, it's, it's still baffling. Um, I remember uh, I got out that morning. Uh, she got out the next, next, the next morning. Um, next, to the, all that whole day looking for her. And finally, that, 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 that next night. And uh, we, end up, actually, we end up helping the same person um, Right up here off of, uh, what's the next book? Uh, the light. Yep. Uh, and we ended up, uh, me and these guys, they, uh, sitting there with the flashes on. And I'm going on my, on my bike, and, hey, can you borrow your bike? We're coming down here to the city. 
Uh, well, sure, why not? I jump in the car with the guys and they go take out my bike and they go uh, down there and meet their person and take care of everything, take care of. Come back up, get my bike back. I right, just have a cool day. And I took off my bike. And about like uh, four or five hours later, she goes in and as she met me with the same person, they said we have been having flashes on so long, she got them a boost. <laughs> it's crazy, it's like, and then we had a meeting later on about 12 at night, and uh, we, that, that, that's what I remember. So they're laughing, coming, oh, we, 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 these guys, we, oh, I helped them too, like, it was so cool, it's so, so it was, it was crazy, so, uh, and that was just, that's the last thing I remember. And I went through talking about that, and then I'm waking out of coma. So I have uh, two, three days left, so, um, and I was sober, coming out of jail. So I, I have no idea what, what happened. Roberto, I'm glad that you made it. You survived. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you know, let's 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 be thankful for that. That you you lived, right? Because you could have easily sure. been gone. So uh, she played a big part in that. You know, saving your life. Because yeah. uh, if she wouldn't have dragged you or called for help, yeah. they would have found did, you. And she did. And she did. And the best part, no one did believe me. No one believed me. They got out of faking it. Um, cause I guess I had moments of clarity and most of it was just, where I was gone. But I don't remember none of it. I just it was a complete bang for him. He said, laughing with her about, oh, we, we saw the same person to where I'm waking up, I'm waking up and my flurry and I see screen and I'm in a room in the hospital. I can't, can't do nothing but lift my leggings and slam them up. And I'm like, where am I at? What's going on? Like, I can't breathe. I'm like, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. So uh, again, uh, and I did a fast track. Usually you, you take uh, about a week to, uh, to a week and a half to get off the ventilator, the feeding tube, feeding tube, the whole nine yards. Um, I did it in three days. Because I, I need to get out here and I have to find my girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, I'm glad you're doing better. Please uh, continue to work on yourself to, to improve and, and just live the life that you deserve. I'm going to hand you some uh, donated socks. And uh, also a little baggie here from uh, a subscriber. Her name is a Gypsy. Mm -hmm. uh, here's some uh, hand wipes and some other goodies in there, okay? Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> stay safe, Roberto. We'll talk soon, okay? All right, thank you.